As with its predecessor, the 2024 Chevy Colorado is set to receive a special ZR2 variant featuring distinctive components from American Expedition Vehicles AEV. Continuing the tradition, this model will be called the Bison and will incorporate visual and functional enhancements to further enhance the ZR2's off-road capabilities, which are already impressive. Much of the Bison remains the same as the standard ZR2. It retains the same chassis and powertrain, which consists of a high-output turbo four-cylinder engine generating 310 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. Standard features include electronic locking front and rear differentials, as well as the renowned Multimatic spool valve shocks. However, there are some differences in the suspension compared to the ZR2. The Bison incorporates jounce shocks or bump stops from Multimatic, which help soften hard landings. Additionally, the Bison is equipped with 17-inch wheels from AEV that have beadlock capability, paired with 35-inch mud terrain tires instead of the ZR2's 33-inch tires. This tire upgrade increases ground clearance by 1.5 inches to 12.2 inches, surpassing both the Jeep Gladiator Mojave and the new Ford Ranger Raptor in terms of clearance. The approach, breakover, and departure angles for the Bison measure at 38.2, 26.9, and 26 degrees, respectively. It outperforms the Ranger Raptor in all these areas, although the Gladiator boasts a better approach angle. Furthermore, AEV has made exterior enhancements to the Bison. It features robust steel bumpers at the front and rear, with the front bumper having a provision for a winch. Unique fender flares are fitted to accommodate the larger tires. Underneath, the Bison is equipped with a complete set of skid plates, protecting the radiator, steering components, transmission, transfer case, and fuel tank. The rockers are shielded by rock sliders. In the event of a flat tire, the Bison includes a full-size spare tire mounted in the bed, which is also equipped with a bed liner. This mounting arrangement is necessary as the Bison's tires do not fit in the standard position beneath the bed. Chevy has also introduced launch control for the Bison, which is available exclusively in Baja mode. It functions in both two- and four-wheel drive modes. The system operates similarly to most launch control systems, where you hold the brake, apply the gas, and release the brake once the revs are up. However, the Bison's launch control is designed to adjust power application in real-time based on the available traction. This means that it will optimize performance differently, considering the greater slip experienced on sand compared to launching on pavement. Despite its impressive upgrades, the Bison does have some downsides. It weighs 325 pounds more than the regular ZR2, likely due to the inclusion of steel bumpers. Consequently, the payload and towing capacities are slightly reduced compared to the standard ZR2. The payload is reduced by 230 pounds to 1,050, and towing capacity decreases by 500 pounds to 5,500. It's also worth noting that the Bison shares the same gearing as the ZR2, despite the larger and heavier wheels and tires, which may result in slightly slower performance. Pricing details for the Bison have yet to be announced, but it will be available for sale this year. Chevy has plans to produce more Bison models than before, citing increased demand. Additionally, for those who are not interested in the full Bison package, certain components such as the rock rails and Multimatic jounce shocks will be available as accessories.